Welcome to this episode of the Camtasia 9 Survival Guide, where I'll show you some quick tips for editing text in Camtasia 9. And we're starting right now. Hi, Lon Naylor here, and if you're new to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell icon thingy to stay up to date with the latest, greatest Camtasia tips and tricks. Here's what we're going to look at today. Camtasia 8, of course, lets us add various text elements to our video projects. We add these from our Callouts tab, just as straight text callouts, or also as text within a shape callout. And in Camtasia 8, modifying the text is done in this Properties pane that appears here on the left. To be quite honest, I never really liked this interface very much. It's really rather difficult and cumbersome to use, but that's the way it works and we're all pretty much used to it. Well, I'm happy to say that in Camtasia 9, handling text is, for the most part, much better, and there are just a couple of quick things you'll need to know. Here they are. First, all text is now modified on the canvas itself. This actually causes some confusion for lots of new users. One might be tempted to think that selecting a text object on the timeline would allow you to change the text under the property settings somewhere, kind of like in the old interface. You can change the properties of text like size, font, color, and so on, but to modify the actual text itself, you need to select it on the canvas. Double click to select all the text in an element, or highlight and select just what you want, and do your deal. This is a nice improvement over Camtasia 8 in my opinion. And notice that the text fields act a little smarter now in that the text resizes, and resizing the object resizes the text also. As for scaling text, the slider control only goes to 128 point font size. In a 1920 by 1080 size video, that's not very big. The good news is that you can enter a value of up to 500 point size in the field. The bad news is, well, that's as high as you can go. Now, granted, I don't need to go higher than that very often, and if I do, I just create a text box in PowerPoint, save it as an image that I can scale as big as I want. On the less than optimal side, what you may notice when you select a font is that, yeah, a bunch of my installed fonts aren't available. Oh! That's because apparently Camtasia 9 only supports True Type Fonts, TTF for short. And if you have others installed, like Open Type Fonts, or OTFs, they won't appear. This is a known bug at the moment. Keep an eye out for Survival Guide updates, and I'll let you know when it's fixed. The workaround for the moment is to try to find TTF versions of your favorite OTF fonts. Speaking of which, you might also have noticed that the default font for text seems to be the Montserrat font. Nice font. I like it, but perhaps you've also wondered why trying to make it bold, for example, may or may not work for you. Well, you might have an OTF version installed like I did. I found a true type version at 1001freefonts.com, and installing that gets me bold Montserrat after installation and relaunching Camtasia, but I can't seem to find an italic or bold italic TTF version. And lastly, be aware that text callouts have a drop shadow by default. If you don't want that, just click the effects arrow on the element, select the effect, and delete it. Or, in the properties pane, you can delete it on the visual properties of the callout. But it's not a property of the text where you might expect it to be. Kind of weird, but anyway. Speaking of weird, Text included in other annotations, like this one, don't seem to have a way to add a drop shadow to just the text. So, now you know. Hey, thanks for watching. Leave your questions and comments. Sharing's cool, too. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.